It was all smiles and cheers from members of the Kelowna Paddle Centre after City Council unanimously approved a nine-year lease. Passed unanimously. Allowing the club to operate at the proposed Cedar Avenue Park. Those opposed believe the centre is in the wrong location and is taking up way too much park space. You know, it's hard to find a place that's going to satisfy absolutely everybody. I, I wish we could, um, but as Council reinforced, this is the ideal spot for our paddle centre and we don't see it as an either or. We don't see it as a paddle centre or a park. We see it as very much both. Council had voted to preserve the land as park instead of selling off a part of it. But with no money available to build the park in the immediate future, the city decided the best long-term decision was to turn a portion of Cedar Avenue Park into the paddle centre. So I know there are some people out there who don't want this paddle centre at all in the area. And so if we were to just terminate this lease and not have it and just keep things as status quo, Nobody would have access to this area outside of the few people who rent the homes in this neighborhood. The Paddle Centre will pay $2,500 a year for the first two years of the nine-year lease and $1 a year after that. However, they also must make significant contributions up to $5,000 a year in a reserve fund to show the centre is able to properly maintain and keep up the building. Those opposed to this say the property is worth in excess of $7 million for what they say is no more than a private club. A public facility in the same way that Parkinson Rec would be the sailing association so you can certainly become a member um, but you can also access it through drop-ins or public uh, programs. This is a win-win-win-win. There's four wins here. While council voted unanimously in favor of the paddle center there were some questions from members such as parking issues. So it accommodates uh, 18 vehicles in a temporary lot. The Paddle Centre has been operating for a year with a temporary use permit and currently has 100 members. Wayne Moore, Castanet News.